Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to connect to the HP Web Services web page so you could manually change the IP address of your printer. So obviously to get to these uh, settings you need to know the current IP address of your printer. So depending how you set it up is how you're going to get it. If you know it, great. Uh, if not, you could probably go to the printer itself and print out a status report or go to the network settings and find it from there. Or if you're already using a network printer, let's say this one here, you could go to its properties. Oops, sorry, I'll go to the printer properties and the ports tab and see that it's using this port here and that's the IP address. Then you can plug that into your web browser with a, a colon 80 on there for a web port. Or for the case for this one that we're going to play with, if you go to the properties, you might have a web services tab. And then you could just click on this IP address and that'll open it up in your browser, which I have open right here. And then once you're there, you'll see all the various information like the device status and, you know, how much ink you have left and uh, supplies and device configuration. Tons of information. Uh, network summary. So we could see this is the IP address that it's using right now. Gateway and using DHCP for the IP address, uh, so it's using the same DHCP server that the actual computer is using. This one here to get its IP address. So, okay, so now to change it, you want to go to the networking tab, then IPv4 configuration, and then you can see here it's using DHCP. So if we ping this address here. Okay, so we're talking to it. So we could change this to manual if we want. And let's say we want it to change this to, let's say 71, just for fun here. And then click on apply. And then okay. Then it's gonna probably lose the connection here. What we could do is we could uh, see if it changed here, change this from 70 to 71. And so you could see now it's 71. So if we go back here, change this to 71, port 80. Now we're back in. And if we go to the networking tab again, IPv4 configuration, you can see it's manual and that's our IP address. So pretty simple. So like I said, what you need to know the IP address, obviously, to get into the... Uh, web services web page here and then go to the network tab IPv4 configuration changes to manual if you don't want to use DC, DHCP anymore change the IP address apply then you have to wait for it to make its changes then you could ping it make sure you're connected and then you could just change the IP address up in your address bar here to get back into it all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe mm -hmm.